Did you know that you could automate your email with ChatGPT now? Or maybe you didn't know that you could literally upload an image to ChatGPT and it can decipher it for you or make something even better. There are an endless amount of use cases for this. So let's say that I wanted to compete with make.com. What I could do is come over to ChatGPT, say I need you to be an expert web developer and designer, starting a new company that's competing with make.com. I've uploaded a screenshot of their homepage. Can you please improve this from a design and copywriting perspective? I'm gonna take this screenshot, I'm gonna throw it in here. And now what I'm gonna be able to do is get feedback from ChatGPT about how exactly I could actually improve this website and different things that I could go about testing. For example, it has different design improvements I could put in here with the visual hierarchy, the navigation bar, the call to action, and it keeps going. But those two things are absolutely nothing compared to the seven other use cases I'm gonna share with you because ChatGPT just got a massive upgrade and if you're not taking advantage of everything it's gonna allow you to do, then you're honestly wasting your time because this is going to increase your productivity, how much money you can make, quite frankly, how easy your life is. So the first thing that you can do with ChatGPT is you can automate your email. Let's say that you keep getting the same question over and over again or you have new customers that are buying something from you or you have anything that gets repeated over and over again, you can now automate that with ChatGPT. ChatGPT, here's how you do. What you have to do is come to make.com slash en slash integration slash openai dash gbt dash three. They haven't updated their URL yet, but essentially you're going to come into ChatGPT here and make.com is going to allow you to integrate a bunch of different tools together that otherwise wouldn't be integrated. So you can use this to connect ChatGPT. And if we scroll down to all of these different things, for example, you could connect it with Google Sheets, with Gmail, with Airtable, with Google Docs, with Telegram, with WordPress, Microsoft Outlook, Instagram for Business, and literally a ton of other different things. So anything that you can think about that happens over and over again within all these apps, you can now automate with ChatGPT by simply integrating it with make.com. Now, if you want me to do a full tutorial on exactly how you can build out that email bot that's going to respond to your emails for you, no matter how customized they need to be or anything like that, well, oh, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll create that. But other Otherwise, we have to move on to use case number two, and they're going to keep getting crazier. Now, the second thing that you could do is eliminate you using Excel and allow ChatGPT to predict out what the future is going to bring based on different scenarios that you could do. So for this one, I come to ChatGPT, I want to come up here, I want to change this to 01 Preview. This is a new model that they just came out with that gives you a hundred times better answers if it has to think about something. Here's the prompt that I'm going to use and I'm going to walk you through this. I need you to be an expert at scaling and growing a subscription business. Again, Again, we need to give ChatGPT its expertise before we ask it to do any task. I currently run a subscription business that is the following business model. People sign up for $1 for seven days and then get charged $10 a week. I drive 50 signups a day. The average person saves for seven weeks. When will my business cap out? And remember, you could do this for any scenario that you have. You could do this for if I'm eating this many calories and burning this many calories, will I gain weight or will I lose weight? Or if I'm doing this many sales calls and I have this conversion rate, when will I cap out? And then watch what happens here. So we're going to do this. This is going to think, and this is a great thing with ChatGPT 01 preview. It will actually show you how it is thinking about this. This is why it's way more powerful than just normal ChatGPT. Normal ChatGPT is just trying to predict what it should tell you. This ChatGPT model actually thinks and predicts out what you might ask it and it thinks through things. So this thought for 16 seconds, the longest I've ever seen it think for was like five minutes, which is absolutely insane. So this gives me an overview of this. This gives me calculations. And then it gives me the steady state subscriber rate. So since each person sees for 49 days, 50 new people daily, this is going to max out at 2,450 subscribers. And then it gives me a bunch of different strategies that I could do to prevent it from capping out and then different strategies that I can implement. Now, what I can ask it to do is say, can you please put it stalling out in a table? Again, we're trying to get rid of Excel here. But we're getting rid of Excel with something that can give me the same exact thing in a table, but also I can now ask his questions. In the past, I would have had to come up with all the answers myself, but now I don't have to. I can ask ChatGPT, it can run out all these different scenarios, and this completely changes my life because it makes it a hundred times easier. So oh, here it goes. This is building out the new signups, the new cancellations. This is going by day, and it shows me where it is actually going to cap out. Now, the third use case is that now I don't have to spend time actually reading through things, watching videos, or doing anything like that, because now you can get ChatGPT to summarize any PDFs you get, any text messages you get, any emails you get, or any YouTube videos that you wanted to. 
example, this PDF right here, I'm gonna put this in here, and I'm gonna say, please summarize this PDF. Now this PDF is about a TikTok study that Metrical did, and it's 53 pages long. I don't have time to go through all this crap, so I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to do it. Now while I'm asking ChatGPT to do that, the next thing that I could do is I could ask it to summarize a YouTube video. For example, let's say that we have this YouTube video right here, we come down here, we go to show transcript, we move me out of the way here, we get rid of toggle timestamps, and now we copy this. I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm going to say, please summarize this YouTube video. Here's the transcript, and I'm gonna put this in here, and boom, this is what's going to happen here. It's going to start summarizing exactly what happened in the video, and it literally just saved me 15 minutes that I would have had to spend watching this video. Again, it doesn't stop there because I can literally get it to summarize anything. For example, I have a friend Mike right here that always sends me these really long text messages. So I'm gonna take a screenshot of this right here. I'm gonna put this in here and say, please summarize Mike's text message. Or I have clients that send me really long emails all the time. Like this client right here that sent me this long email, I'm going to take this right here, Boom, look at how long this is. It would have taken me five minutes to read through this, but I'm gonna say, please summarize this email from my client. Don't leave out anything that seems important or like it needs to be responded to. And then I'm going to put this in here. Now let's go check on the other thing. So here, this went through a 53 page document and made this incredibly easy and gave me five things that I can actually take away from this. This went through this video, saved me 15 minutes of my life because I didn't have to watch it and gave me four things, again, what the video was about, what's applicable here. Here, I was able to get this to summarize what Mike said and it gave me a pretty long response. So I'm gonna say, please, shorten this and it's going to give me an even better response. Remember, you can do this all from a mobile device. You don't have to be on your computer doing this. You can literally just take a screenshot of the text message. You have ChatGPT on your phone, upload it there and get ChatGPT to do all of this. And now we're gonna check on ChatGPT actually going through and putting a suggested response to this email, the different feedback that they wanted, pivot and strategy, current content strategy, client overview and challenges. So now I can respond to their email way easier. I could even ask ChatGPT to say, please respond to this for me with a very nice and sincere email. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to do text. And again, this will then give me a response that I can send to my friend. And what else is it going to do? This is going to give me a response that I could send to my client. So it's automating all this work for me by summarizing stuff that otherwise I would have spent all day trying to read and get back to. Now there are four other things that you can do with ChatGPT that are gonna make your life 100 times easier. But before I get into them, I need you to smash that subscribe button. If you wanna get better with using AI and ChatGPT, I upload videos multiple times a week with tutorials and different tools to you can use to make your life 100 times easier and you're not going to want to miss them. In addition to that, the last thing that I'm going to share with you could actually make you save way more money because it's going to audit your finances and it can automatically invest for you with ChatGPT and this is amazing. So make sure you stick around for it. The fourth thing that I could get ChatGPT to do is I could get ChatGPT to write like me. In fact, I'm going to have ChatGPT write me a script for a video that's just like this one because if you're liking this video right now, I need to make a new version of it. So what I'm going to ask ChatGPT is I'm going to say I need you to be an expert YouTube script writer and I need you to write in my own voice. I'm giving you the script for my video about seven mind-blowing ChatGPT use cases for 2025. Please make another video with seven different things but in my voice and my formatting. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to come over to the script that I have for this video. I'm going to take this right here. I'm going to upload this to ChatGPT. And what this is going to do is now rewrite this in my voice with seven different examples. And I'm gonna make a video in the future using this. And again, you could use this for blog posts. You could use this for emails. You could use this for anything where you are writing something. Just upload examples of how you do it. And then ChatGPT can spit out 
really good responses. And it goes through, maps out new possibilities, highlights automation, crafts a script. And what it also does is goes through and thinks about how I actually wrote this and it's going to make it just like me. Now think about the power of this because you don't have to do this with you. Let's say that you wanna write like Stephen King or you wanna write like Mark Manson or like Gary Vee or like Grant Cardone. You can do the same exact thing. You can get it to create content in their voice, but it'll be coming from you. So now this literally went through and made me the entire script that I'm gonna use in the future because this is incredibly useful. It literally took me like three hours to come up with this script and these use cases, and ChatGPT was able to take that build on it and iterate on it in literally just a few seconds. If you feel like every single month you're wasting money, ChatGPT is going to solve that for you and it's going to help you make more money in the process. In fact, this might be the most important thing that you've ever seen ChatGPT do. So what I'm gonna do here, I type into ChatGPT, I need you to be an expert at helping me save money. I'm going to upload my American Express statement. Please identify areas where I waste money and explain to me how I can cut back on them and invest that money and how much it will turn into over a five, 10, or 25 year horizon. So I'm gonna take my American Express statement for March of last year. I'm going to put that in here. I'm going to upload this. And this is crazy what this does. It reads the documents. And by the way, you can redact anything that might be sensitive information that's on here. Personally, this didn't have anything that crazy. It really just had my name. So what this does is goes through with luxury goods and high ticket items. So I bought a Rolex actually, and that's what it's identifying here. And it says to avoid or delay non-essential luxury project, product purchases. Dining and food, it identifies some things where I spent a lot of money, maybe limiting that can also help me save money. Traveling, it identified multiple airline tickets, miscellaneous stuff like my ChatGPT subscription, convert kit, or Google storage. In fact, I didn't even know I was paying for Google storage, parking and small fees. So this shows me my potential savings. If I was to save some of this money and over five years, I got a 7% return, it could make $140,000, $340,000. Over 25 years, it could turn into $1.6 million if I just cut back on these things that I didn't even know I was spending money on. In fact, this is the Rolex right here that I bought back in March of last year. Now, if you've thought any of these have been crazy so far, you are gonna have your mind absolutely blown at these next two things. Next thing that you can do with ChatGPT is you could literally awaken your home and automate things. For example, you can automate the lights, you can automate the shutters, you can automate the blinds, your TV, you can literally automate anything. In fact, you can integrate it with all this stuff. For example, I'm going to type in calendar here, and then what I'm gonna be able to do is this will turn my lights on and off in my house depending on if I'm going to be home, or it can change the temperature of my home depending on if I'm going to be home or if I'm not gonna be home and save me a ton of money. And the craziest part about this is literally, you could come over to ChatGPT and say, I want to automate my home, for example, the lighting, the TV being on, the temperature, etc. How can I do that with ChatGPT? And what do you know? This is literally now going to break out a step-by-step -step instruction for exactly how I can set up a smart home ecosystem. This is nuts. A lot of people think ChatGPT is only going to affect internet stuff, but clearly this is very, very soon going to affect our real lives as this gets rolled out to more and more people because this literally gives me a step-by-step -step guide on exactly how to do this. And it gives a programming examples of how I could actually control my lights using a smart light bulb with ChatGPT. Now this brings me to the final and most important use case that I think you can use ChatGPT for and that is to automate investing or to play out different scenarios so that you can know when you're gonna retire or how you could retire early. Here's an example. I'm gonna come over to ChatGPT and say something like, I am currently 28 years old. I have $1.3 million invested. I own a home worth $1.4 million and I want to retire by the time I am 35. How can I make this happen? Give me different scenarios. So I just ask me questions to get this to happen. Now, why would you pay a financial advisor tons of money when you could just ask ChatGPT exactly how to do this and it can actually build you out a plan for exactly how you can retire by the age that you want to retire at 
based on how much money you make. So this is going to ask me other questions that I have to clarify. For example, my living expenses, income sources, investment strategy, my tax strategy, healthcare, where I want to live, how long I expect to be retired for. And what this is going to do is going to have me come up with a plan in order for me to be able to do this. In fact, I might be able to retire right now, depending on what my expenses are. Now, if you enjoyed this video, you're absolutely going to love this video that shows you seven other AI tools that are going to make your life a hundred times easier. And the best part is all these AI tools are 100% free and you don't even need to sign in in order to use them. I'll see you over there.